On July 20th of 2003, the great sprinting legend Usain Bolt set the under-18 world record in the 200-meter dash, clocking a magnificent time of 20.13 seconds. This performance completely obliterated the previous world youth record, which stood at 20.37 seconds, meaning that Bolt's new time, which he ran at only 16 years of age, broke the previous world youth mark by over two tenths of a second. This was a massive leap in world youth running. Before Usain Bolt, only three athletes had ever broken 20.5, and now with this one dominant performance, he had now ushered in a new era of sprinting excellence. With his long loping and powerful stride, this early performance was quite extraordinary, and over the past 18 years, no youth athlete has ever even gotten close to this incredible time. Well, that is until recently, when one very special teenage sprinter ran one of the greatest 200 meter races of all time. On May 31st of 2021, Arian Knighton from the United States stepped to the line at the Duval County Challenge in Jacksonville, Florida. At just 17 years of age, he was considered a promising young prospect for this race, but against the other athletes in the field, he was not considered one of the pre-race favorites. Racing against Knighton was an absolutely stacked field, including Adam Gemelli from Great Britain, Zarnell Hughes from Great Britain, and also the fastest athlete in the world this year over the 100 meters, Trayvon Bromel from the United States. With these additional talents, Knighton was far from the favorite to take the victory here. However, for this 200 meter showdown, this 17 year old was ready for greatness. Over the first 100 meters, Knighton got a pretty solid start against the world-class field. However, as was expected, Trayvon Bromel had a slight advantage over everyone else. Coming down the home stretch, Bromel was still leading this race. However, over the final 30 meters, Knighton incredibly managed to go past Bromel, and he took the victory for this race, winning with a time of 20.11 seconds. On paper, this victory was already magnificent. Not only did he run a new personal best here, but he managed to take down some of the greatest sprinters in the world. But his greatest achievement on this day was the fact that he managed to break the world youth record of Usain Bolt, which was set all the way back in 2003. Building up to this 200 meter race, his personal bests were already very impressive including a 20.31 for the 200 and a very solid time of 10.16 in the 100. This 100 meter time is only one one hundredth of a second behind the world youth record, which currently stands at 10.15, set by Anthony Schwartz back in 2017. If you'll notice, Schwartz had a tailwind of 2.0 meters per second, while Knighton actually ran this personal best into a headwind of 0.3 meters per second. With the pace that this young athlete is running, it's very likely that he'll be able to take down this 100 meter record as well very soon. And if he does, he will unquestionably be one of the greatest youth athletes in the entire history of athletics. Now for a little bit of context here, Knighton's time does take down the previous record of Usain Bolt. However, Bolt still holds the world junior record, which stands at 19.93 seconds for the 200. For this performance, Bolt had clearly stepped up his game, and no other athlete in this entire field even stood a chance against Usain. This kind of sprinting dominance was later realized as Bolt went on to become the greatest sprinter of all time. So now, the question remains, are we actually seeing the rise of the next Usain Bolt? Well, for the short answer, no. Not yet, at least. To become anywhere comparable to this one athlete, you'll not only need a plethora of world record breakthroughs, but you'll also need a ridiculous amount of world championship and Olympic medals. Indeed, this kind of sprinting superiority is extremely uncommon, especially for a 17-year-old. However, with this new performance, we are clearly seeing the rise of a new promising talent. Even against the best sprinters in the world, including the world's fastest man, Knighton still managed to come out on top, but if you'll take notice for this race, his victory was mostly because of his very impressive strength in addition to having solid natural speed. If we take a look back to April 17th of this season, 
we can see Knighton running the 4x400 meters in the Tom Jones Invitational. For this race, he was running the third leg while representing Adidas, and incredibly, at just 17, he ran his split right around 44.8 to 45 seconds flat. This kind of performance for a 17-year-old is incredible. Not only has he been dominating the 100 and the 200 recently, but he's already throwing down extremely competitive times for the 400. This baton pass went on to none other than the great Grant Holloway, who is pretty much untouchable over any hurdles event this season. And incredibly, this relay time came out to 3 minutes .75 seconds. This time ranks as the second fastest 4x400 relay in the world this year, only falling behind the fantastic relay race put together by North Carolina a and in this year's NCAA preliminary rounds. Moving forward, if we take Knighton's personal bests in the 100 and in the 200, and for simplicity's sake, let's just say he can run a 45.5 in the 400 at the moment, he is already ranked as the single fastest youth athlete to ever set foot on the track. Beyond just these times is the way he performs. At 6 foot 3 and 170 pounds, his stride pattern, his turnover, and his fluid motion all very much resemble that of Usain Bolt. So if he can stay fit and healthy over the next few years, his times over the next few seasons could very well be historic. With this new 20.11, Knighton now ranks as the ninth fastest athlete in the world this year. However, given the fact that he hails from the United States, making the Olympic team will be a different story. Given his recent racing progression, his incredible poise in big competitions, and the ease with which he runs his races, it's pretty fair to expect that much faster times are just around the corner. In the entire history of the United States Olympic teams, no 17-year-old has ever qualified in the 100, the 200, or in the 400 meters. But maybe, just maybe, it's time for that to change. It's honestly quite difficult not to be impressed by this kid, and given the right place and the right time, get ready to see a sub-20 for the 200. If there's anyone in the world right now with a chance to challenge Usain Bolt's incredible World Junior record, it is certainly Arion Knighton, but it's also important to remember, no other junior athlete in history has ever broken the 20-second barrier. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, until next time.